Here we are again at Neptune Theatre. It's time for another show. An artistic fraud of Newfoundland have joined Neptune Theatre to present Oil and Oil and Water. And uh, the show... Hi. Hi. Hi, we're just doing a little intro. Oh, thank you very much. I'm one of the cast members of Oil and Water. Oh! You know, you're on our set and stuff. Right. Actor. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Do you mind? Coming I, well, we'll have a chat, maybe. I'm sure. Let's have a look at a bit of the show first. Where are you going? You're going the wrong way! My name is Star Deming and I play Vonza Phillips okay. in the show. And I'm Robert Chafe and I'm the playwright of Oil and Water and the artistic director of Artistic Fraud of Newfoundland. This play is about uh, Lanier Phillips, who was the only African-American survivor of a pretty devastating shipwreck in Newfoundland in 1942 in the south coast of Newfoundland, uh, and uh, how the uh, incidents that followed that shipwreck changed his life. Maybe I'll just leave it there. There, leave it there. I'll leave it Spoiler there. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. The idea for writing this goes back to about 1996. Uh, a good friend of mine in St. John's is a painter, Grant Boland, and he had done this incredible piece called Incident at St. Lawrence, which was this uh, um, amazing image of uh, these men covered in dirt, toy, uh, oil, tar, and these uh, kind of angelic women washing them. And I was just completely struck by that image, and I had to know the story. And he's the one who originally told me the story of the Truxton and of Lanier. There's water coming in fast below. No, we know. Come on, Phyllis. Room in that boat. Room in that boat for ten men. And they're about to push off the boat, too. Your mouth is faulty. That boat is full. I can count to two. Well, that boat is full. Enough room for you. Step back, son. I ain't your son. The ship is sinking. I'm Martha Irving, and I play Violet Pike. I'm Jeremiah Sparks, and I play Lanier Phillips, the older fella. We've uh, been doing this for about four years now, we, and um, we've toured it uh, throughout Canada. And uh, it's been getting great reviews, and uh, apparently has more legs. Patrina Bromley, who, nor who originated Violet Pike, was unable to do this specific leg of the tour. So uh, Jillian Kiley asked if I could step in. So it's been um, a really fast and wild ride trying to fit into uh, a very tight and dense show. Mm. This amazing work of lighting and uh, minimalist um, a pl a storytelling with uh, Newfoundland art, a uh, folk singing and uh, African American gospel. And combined. I combined, and it's just a, it is the most profound play I've ever been a part of. Get your hands off me! Oh, I'm giving my car! I call off your dog! Oh, I said, dog, got a better shot! I didn't take it to the soul! And no man here think twice to put it down. There is nothing I can do for you. It's a true piece of, uh, of Atlantic Canadian history that not a lot of people know, a uh, true piece of African Canadian, African American history that not a lot of people know, uh, and it's truly, truly an amazing story. And you gotta check out the story. It's like three stories in one happening at the same time, and it's, it's amazing writing, and it's exciting, something to see, you have to see. It's like nothing that you have ever seen before, and it will touch your heart. Ever. Ever. <laughs> I really think that you should come and to come to theater in general, but to this show because I think it'll change your life. I actually think it'll change your perspective on race relations and human relations and Canada as a whole.